Good day, folks. Well, thanks to a large evaporative air conditioner I scrapped out today, I now have two motors for my rotary phase converter. The first one was donated by a friend, and this one here I just picked up today. I believe it's still alright. I think I just scrapped the unit because it was a really nasty, rancid piece of crap. As you can see by the motor, it's just full of crap. But it still spins smoothly, and apparently it's still electrically okay. This one's a two-speed pole change induction motor, TK Electric Taiwan. Uh, at 1.5 kilowatts in four-pole mode, or 0.45 in six-pole mode. So it's high and low. This one here only connects up in star formation, high speed or low. This one here only has one row of terminals on it. So I'm not quite sure how that's wired. Could be delta if they're bridged across inside. But if they're not, I might be in a bit of trouble. So I've got to figure out which one's the best to run. Either way, I'll get these both cleaned up. They're both good motors. Yeah, that one doesn't say anything on the back. But this one's definitely a star and it's two speed, it can be, these wires can be swapped around or that's probably one speed there and that's the second speed in there well, thanks for watching folks, I'll tear these apart and clean them up it's always nice when manufacturers put lifting bolt holes on these motors you can hang them up and work on them at any angle you want I've given this one a good wire brushing with the grinder and it's uh, come up reasonably good. A lot of pitting from the rust, but water hasn't gotten into the bearings. She runs smooth. It's electrically fine, so I don't see any reason to tear it down and use electrolysis on the end plates or anything. I have the end cowl, the fan cowl, on the electrolysis tank at the moment, but that's about it. And that seems to be stewing away nicely. So I'm going to paint the motor body and everything like they did at the factory and then I'll paint the cowl and fit that up and that'll be the end of it. I've got two motors here so I can build two rotary phase converters if I want to. Um, this one here I'm not sure about though because it's only got three terminals on it. Normally you can bridge across the star or delta but in this case it's only got three bloody windings. I'm not sure whether this one will be suitable or not. Uh, I'm sure it'll come in handy though. Oh, first primer coat and it's looking better already. You can still see the pitting, but it looks a lot better. I'm going to give this a couple of coats of primer, particularly where the rust is, and pick a uh, finish colour. I'm thinking maybe uh, gunmetal hammer tone grey, or maybe a nice blue. I mean, it's a more modern Taiwanese motor, so it doesn't really get the antique grey like a lot of my machinery. But the, um, I think hammer tone grey would do. Black's a bit too low on detail. Oh, that'd be good for heat dispersion. This one down here, the majority of the factory paint's intact. It's just covered with dirt. There's no real corrosion problem on it. So I'll give it a scrub down with some car wash. I'll seal it up first and just scrub it down with car wash and water and see how it comes up. Maybe give it, try and find a colour match to it and give it a light respray. It'd be nice to actually have a can of this to see a blue. It's a sw Swedish made motor. I think Asiya went on to merge with ABB to create... Oh. No, Asiya merged with uh, Brown and Bouverie to create a ABB. At least I think that's what the story is. I mean, so many changes in the electrical engineering business, it's not funny. Oh, thanks for watching folks.